The dining room serves as the social center of the household, bringing everyone in for meals, homework, catching up with one another and creating enduring memories. Whether you want to use a tablecloth all the time or just for special occasions, this is definitely a dining room essential you want to have on hand. But what if one doesn't want to make a fuss over buying tablecloths but still prefers the feel and touch of fabric in the dining area over keeping it bare? Table runners come in a variety of lengths, widths, with many many designs and colors that are also very easy on your pocket. Well, the dining table can be adorned with whatever we wish to have more readily available, such as pepper, pickles, fruits etc. Which is what I am showing you. So get all of that out and decorate it, whether or not you put a plant in the middle. <laughs> the addition of a plant will do nothing but enhance the room's aesthetic appeal. Even when it's dark outside, the room still looks lovely thanks to the candles and coasters. Even when I'm hard at work, I can still enjoy the pleasant aroma of a burning candle. To ensure that so many things stay confined together, Using a simple plate from your kitchen cabinet can also do the job. Use that as a base and place all things necessary in the center. To make things look more layered, I've put a board underneath the plate. Modifying the area with personal touches like this is entirely up to you. Please feel free to experiment with the settings to see what works best for you. Obviously, my table is fairly tiny, so I am arranging things accordingly. However, for larger families with larger tables, placing the same things in bigger jars or even displaying fruits in larger baskets is always an option. To me, runners have much more untapped potential than is often recognized. To spice things up, I am using two differently sized runners here. The otherwise white table now has a splash of color thanks to the addition of blue. Stylish cutting boards in my opinion have far more applications than only in the kitchen. Here is another example. Use it as a base to corral things on the table. I can't stress enough on how we don't need fancy things to make the space interesting. Here I have used a simple tea light candle instead of a fancy looking one to get the look I wanted. This is more or less of a minimalist look which has a simple vibe about it that might spark a lot of creativity in your own homes. As a kid, I always thought of the dining area as the place where food was stored. Everything from pickles to sauces and when in season, laddus in a jar. There was always a faint aroma of achar in the air. This smell would be replaced with that of ghee and gur when homemade laddus would make their way to the same spot. 
Homework sessions also meant sneaking a couple of these things from those jars. <laughs> Using a basket tray to keep these things together and this time not in the center but towards the side of the table to make more space for other fun activities in the main area of the table. Since I use my dining table for both eating and working, I frequently find myself setting things to one side. I'm making a straightforward cake to fill my favorite cloche, which is also set aside. It's not fair to keep it empty, right? <laughs> Just whip some eggs, oil and sugar until they become very light in color, almost creamy white. As I was gathering the ingredients for this cake recipe, I realized my oil bottle was missing its usual label. The IKEA labels are fun to use occasionally. These are semi-transparent and you can easily write anything on them to make for your own label. It has a sticky back and the translucent effect looks really nice for a change. My sugar jar was also empty. Just when I need things for the recipe, I find that all things are not where they should be. <laughs> Does this happen to you as well? While I'm using a stand mixer, a hand whisk or electric mixer will work just as well. Oh by the way, if you want more labeling options that are also cost friendly then do check out my in-depth video on labeling methods and techniques. I'm sure you'll be able to pick one from the many options. Dymo label machine has quickly become my go-to tool for quick, easy and effective labeling. It basically embosses the letter on a black tape. These labels have a lovely, one-of-a-kind aesthetic. But let me tell you, they are not suitable for individuals who value large, easily legible text since the letters are quite uneven and it can get difficult to read. So for my mum's pantry in India, I chose a different option to label things and that was using a proper label maker that gives me many more options with fonts, sizes, formats and other things. My baking basket comes out every few days which is why I place it on the top shelf. Masking tape or painter's tape, this is the quickest and easiest way to make labels and switch them around. Plus they offer a nice touch of rustic charm here and there. I use this tape to write expiration dates and other information.
Combining the liquid and dry components is simple. Carefully fold the two together with a spatula, avoiding the urge to overwork the batter. The cake usually takes 20 to 25 minutes at 180 degrees but today I decided to give it a little extra time at 165 degrees for a total of 35 minutes in the oven. I think more than the effort of baking anything is the effort of cleaning up everything. <laughs> but I don't mind it at all because the sight of a soft cake makes me finish up the cleaning super fast. This day was incredibly enlightening for me as well because I in a way documented the many settings and configurations that I could make today for the dining table. As I was prepping the cake today, I couldn't help but think who gets to dictate what we can and can't use to decorate our houses. Simply put, we pick and choose the things that mean most to us. Then it's all about organizing them attractively. Keep in mind that every space can be transformed into a sanctuary by adding touches of your personality and accents of your own flair. Today I shared with you all a few ideas that came to my mind. I hope these suggestions will inspire you to think of even more wonderful ways to improve your living space. Until next time, see ya later folks. When spring is coming.